So what's included in this brake kit is the, uh, the Badger 250 with a propellant and the various tools that you'll need to apply it. I've got some here that we use in the shop occasionally. Oops. And you want to make sure that when you thread this onto the can, this plunger is backed all the way out. So this threads onto the can like this. And then the plunger goes in and threads in like that. And you'll notice that when you get down to the point, you start to get airflow. Yes. Then the uh, hose threads onto this little nipple right here. And then this threads onto the badger right there. Pretty simple. Yeah. So this, how deep this plunger goes in determines your airflow. You can go down to nothing. You could have a, just a trickle. And that, you can control with the, with the uh, can. Okay. Now that that's been primed, um, it is helpful doing. And is the camera picking up? Yes. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can see the, the discoloration. Yes. It's helpful to have a hair dryer to speed up this process because it takes multiple coats with the airbrush to cover. I see. And so, if you can dry each coat after it's applied, the process will go much quicker. And with this gun, this little badger, you can control your um, the droplet size of the spray by either this this threads, and by threading up, the droplets become finer, and by threading down, they become bigger. Okay. And so I would uh, have like a paper towel or something where you can test and see what your pattern is like. Droplet size will also be controlled by air pressure. The higher the air pressure, the finer the mist. Okay. And basically what we're doing here, the print has been removed pretty much pretty evenly. So we're just gonna put down layers of print to darken it in. 